Okay, uh, this is an Affinity Photo tutorial to create an image like this. Um, and basically we're going to composite it from two images. One's a wall and one is a cartoon type uh, submarine. So uh, both of those images are available on Pixabay or s similar to them. You can just get any two images you want. Um, the important thing is that the that the top image basically has to be a kind of dot .png uh, transparency image. So let's get started. So we're in Affinity uh, Photo here, File. I'm going to open um, the wall. Right, so I'm going to open the wall. There we go. There it is. And on top of that wall, I'm going to place our submarine. Let's just put it about there. There we go. Um, and as you can see, it looks a little, um, from the outset there, it doesn't look right. It doesn't really look like it's properly on the wall. So we can fix that um, in a couple of ways. But, but generally, if it's just a straight wall like this, the way I prefer to do it, it's quite a quick and really easy method, is you, you highlight the submarine there and you click on this uh, cog wheel here over to the right that says blend ranges. There we go. Um, I'm just going to drag this one down here and you can see now the submarine starts to take on some of the kind of texturing behind it. Um, there we go. In fact, I'm just going to uncheck these buttons that say linear here. There we go. And just grabbing an area here with the mouse, you can just change the coloration of it a bit. There we go. And you can even add more of these points here. To just make it look exactly how you'd want it to do. I, I quite like this uh, this kind of S shaped curve there. Okay. Now, one thing I like to do also is um, it looks a little bit too uh, sharp, if you like, there for for the image. So, so I. I think what I'm going to also do is just try and blur it a bit, coming down to the filters, blur and click Gaussian blur. There we go. I'm just going to increase the radius. Actually, that's not too bad there. That's a 0.4 pixel. If I come down, let's have a look. Yeah, about 0.5 for this particular one, depending on the um, size and the resolution of your Im of any images you might want to choose just just change that to taste there so you can see we kind of got slightly blurring and the other thing I'm going to also do filter I'm just going to go up to the filter there and just add a little bit of distortion because at the minute I mean you could assume that someone's drawn this with a stencil on a wall and everything like that obviously I'm just going to add a little bit of um, a little bit of ripple here there we go click on the ripple button just so that those lines aren't exactly straight and there's a little bit of there we go you can see when they're exactly straight there and if I if I go right up there then it becomes really too distorted so I'm gonna put in a figure of let's just try four see what happens let's just try oh, actually I think you have to press return to view that I'm gonna put four in um, I'm going to undo that one, Control Z, and I'm going to put three in, I think. There we go. So nothing's exactly right, and we've got some slightly slight blurring there. Um, let's apply that there. So there we go, and and um, let's just click off that. So that's the kind of image I was aiming for, um, just so it looks a bit like some kind of graffiti on a wall, and and that's how you do it.